What's up, what's up, my heart attacks? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's good? My name is Jacqueline, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I learned how to do the splits. Granted, I was about 10 years old when I learned how to do the splits, so. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time when you're too busy adulting, okay? Like, really. Today, I decided to do my natural curls. I bought some, recently bought some Diva Curl products, and I'm just like kind of living for it. So, feeling like Harley Quinn here. Mr. J, Mr. J. Oh, they try to pull tricks on me, eh? Well, they ain't gonna get away with it. They ain't gonna get away with it, I say. Let's just get into the video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Okay, let's do this. First thing you're gonna wanna do is warm up, of course. You are not gonna be able to get your splits or even stretch fully if your body is not fully warmed up. She really wanted to be in the video because she did not want to move. <laughs> Starting off, we are going to be doing these wall standing kicks. I'm doing flexed first, and then I'm gonna switch and do pointed feet. If you're kind of flexible, I think you could get away with doing two sets of 10, pointed and flexed. But if you're really not flexible in this aspect, then I would do three sets of 10. You could also do this on the side, um, put your hand on a wall to kind of help you balance out if you wanted to challenge yourself to push your balance and to really see where your leg is kicking. This one I learned in high school, so it's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> so you wanna be in second position. You can either do in fists or open your hands, whichever you prefer. So you wanna be nice and strong because you're gonna be kicking and you don't wanna move. Nice and strong, that's what you want. And you're gonna be kicking up and here I'm gonna be flexing and then I'm gonna switch to pointed feet. If you got pretty good balance, you could totally substitute these with the wall standing ones. And make sure you're bringing your legs to your torso, not the other way around. So these are called wall straddles. I'm basically gonna be sitting in this position while I'm flexing my feet for a minute and then switching to pointed feet for a minute. And then I'm gonna lean over to my right side. I'm gonna hold that pointed foot for a minute and then I'm gonna switch to flexed feet and hold that for a minute. And I ain't gonna lie, this hurts. <laughs> yes. Super uncomfortable, but if you could get somebody to like, kind of push this part down, that is gonna be great for your hip flexors, overall flexibility. Oh, you're gonna be sore. Yeah, you're gonna be really sore, but that is like the best. Now we're gonna do some sumo stretches slash sumo pulsing exercises. So your legs are basically turned out as they possibly can and you're basically just gonna be pulsing. This is mainly for your hip flexors so you can strengthen them. We're gonna do these for two eights. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, roll away, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch, two, three, four, just strengthen your legs one by one, five, six, seven, eight. You can also use ankle weights to really challenge yourself, especially if you're already flexible. So this one I like also, you're just sitting against the wall and you're in a straddle and you're kind of pushing your legs to the floor, trying to get those toes to the floor. I would hold each stretch for at least a minute. So holding, flexing for one minute, pointing for one minute. This is just a little challenge. You're supposed to let your core gently put you down to the floor into the straddle, but We'll get it eventually. Or you could just walk it out into the splits. That's cool. Now this one, everybody should know, it's basically just a straddle and you can use ankle weights to kind of help with it, but since you're kind of like already on the floor, then you don't really need it. Here, I'm just showing you what it looks like from the back. 
you want to keep your hips down and stretch you don't want to lift up that hip so keep that booty cheek to the floor and that's how you're going to complete that stretch really actually fully stretch for an overstretch, the goal is to eventually get higher and higher and higher so you can really kick those legs up there. So I'm holding flexed feet on each side for a minute and then I'm switching to pointed feet and holding that stretch for a minute. But enough about overstretching. Now I'm gonna be doing a wider butterfly. It'd be helpful if somebody was sitting on your back or on your lower back. And I'm just gonna be gently twisting. And then I'm gonna pull in the butterfly closer. And then again, it would help if somebody would sit on your back or give you slight pressure. I'm gonna be doing these froggers or reverse butterfly. This is gonna help with the hip flexors. And again, it would be helpful if somebody would push down on those hip flexors to increase the stretch. But if you don't, then it's okay. Now you're gonna sit pretty like model, like chili doll here. No, just kidding. This is just gonna stretch out that outer hip and uh, glute area. You guessed it, you're holding each stretch for at least a minute. You always wanna hold stretches for at least 30 seconds to a minute to see increased flexibility. And now for the finisher. This is what I like to call split rotations. They're pretty challenging at first, but after a while you start to really build a strength and you can really see your increased flexibility. You really want to push through the hip flexors. Try not to work through your back, but through the hip flexors. That is what's going to increase your flexibility. You want to do this at least 10 times, and it's the full motion. The full motion of going all the way back and bringing it all the way to the front and then closing your legs and diving right back into it. Give myself a moustache. All right, y'all, so that concludes this video for today. If you get nothing else, just know this. Consistency is going to be your best friend. If you're just doing a straddle for like five minutes, that is going to make a difference. She always gets so nervous when I film these videos because I'm like talking to myself, and she's just like, who are you talking to? There is nobody here. Why are you acting so crazy? Oh, she goes to whip my dad, baby girl, mom, what you do? else that you guys want to see um let me know down below i am trying to do a high school collegiate type of cheerleading video so if that is something that you guys want to see please let me know down below because i think i might do something like that thank you so much for the love and support if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel you can get more of shasta and hit that post notification bell so you know anytime i upload a video okay loves stay strong Stay beautiful, and I will see your beautiful faces in my next video.